Hey everybody, Sean here and I hope you're doing well. The things these demon slayers say never cease to amaze me. Here's a new one from Mike Signorelli. Churches that don't do deliverance are just demon daycares. There's absolutely nothing biblical about that. Remember, for these demon slayers, deliverance is for Christians. I only do deliverance on believers. There's not one verse in the Bible of a born again believer ever having a demon cast out of them. Yet Isaiah only cast demons out of so-called Christians. And Mike is saying that the church is a demon daycare because according to them, all Christians have demons and will never be completely free. And Mike took it to an even more wicked level in the Demon Slayers Tell All video. The reason why most pastors in America don't cast out demons is because they're working in conjunction with them. So not only are Christians filled with demons, pastors that are not casting demons out of believers are actually working with those demons. Crazy. One commentator mentioned how interesting it was that 6,000 years ago Jesus warned us in Matthew 7 that many would claim to have cast out demons in Jesus' name, but he never knew them, meaning they were not born again and they will go to hell. And never did we see this false movement expanding so quickly until the last decade. Folks, this is a serious church demic that is leading many people astray. These are the schemes of the devil and he is fooling many. If you do call yourself a Christian and you have had a demon cast out of you as a Christian, then you are not born again and the Holy Spirit is not in you. You need to take 2 Corinthians 13, 5 very serious and do what it says. Examine yourself to see if you really are in the faith. Do you not know that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. And if you are having demons cast out of you, then you have failed that test and the Holy Spirit is not in you. Please watch the videos in the deliverance playlist and you'll find biblical answers to all the false claims they make about their false ministry. We're going to leave it here for today, but leave your comments below and until next time, take care and God bless.